Hello everyone. Welcome back to Talent Tech Solution Interview Questions. This is the interview question that you are going to get ninety nine percent of the time. Okay, this is a very favorite question of all the interviewers. So let's get on with it. So this question is nothing but the differences or similarities between T Java, T Java Two, and T Java Flex. So all these three components are nothing but the components that can help you write Java code. So that's one similarity between all three of them. They all can help you write Java code inside them. This T Java will only execute once and at the first of the sub job, right? T Java row it will execute at each and every row of the sub job. T Java Flex it can kind of do both of them. Because it has three options in it, right? So right now we have put it as blank. So now moving on, what we have next is it does not require input flow. So T Java does not require an input flow because it is an independent part of the job. It can run on its own. T Java row it requires input flow because it can only work on the rows. If you don't give it rows, it cannot work. So this one, as the name suggests, T Java row. It will require the input flow. For T Java Flex, it is not required, so it can work independently. So basically, T Java Flex is nothing but a combination of T Java and T Java Row. So let's just try to understand this in the job as well. So if you see right here in the job, a T Java code, it's just a simple code that I have written here to read the file data, right? So this code can run independently. You don't need any input to it. You don't want to give any output as well. It's just a simple standalone component that can run independently at the start of the job. You can write high tech Java code inside it, or you can just write simple things to just say something as system dot out dot print, right? So if I just quickly run this, it will run and it will give me the output. So here it read my file, the data that was there in my file, it read it and printed it on the console. Here it also printed the by on the console, right? So T Java is independent. It does not require any input, any output. It can work on its own standalone. Now coming to T Java row, T Java row always needs the input. So you need to provide it with some source input. Then only it will work. And here in T Java row, what you can do is you can make changes to your input flow, right? So here what I have done is I have made this down case. I have made this column up case. I have added. Thousand to the salary, right? So all these computations that I want to do on the rows, right? That can be done. So these computations will be done on each and every row, and you can get them in the output. So let's say let's run this job, and we can check that quickly. So if you see, this one has become capital. This one has become small, and whatever was the salary from my input, thousand is added on top of it, right? So that is how your T Java row works. This is a dependent component. It cannot run on its own. It needs the input rows. Then only it can modify them or just pass through the rows directly. Now coming to T Java Flex. The T Java Flex is mostly used when you have to do something in a loop, and it has three parts to it. The first part of it is the start code, then the main code, and then the end code. So the start code and the end code they will work as your T Java. Right, simple plain T Java. It is the piece of code that is going to run only once in the job. Now the main code that you have here, it is nothing but it will work like T Java row, where you can do all the looping, you can do calculations, you can do transformations. So here, what I have done is here I have used T Java flex to just do some uh, for loop conditions. So if I run this, it is just a simple for loop. It will take some value as input and give you something in the output, right? So this is your start and end code. So if you see, right, start and end code, they ran only once, and this part of the code, that was the main part of the code, it looped through and it ran multiple times, right? So now this is how it works as T Java. It does not need any input. It can work independently, and it can give you some output also, right? Now making T Java Flex work as T Java and T Java Row. So it can take now inputs also, right? As T Java Ray, it can take now inputs as well. And what I have done here is, I am here passing on the values. So I am passing on same thing as I did in T Java Row, down casing, up casing, adding some salary, and adding few extra columns also, like sequence and date. 
right? And along with that, in the start code, I am reading the data that I was doing in T Java. So yes, this is a very powerful component. It can do all of this. So here the start code will work as T Java and it will read the file and print that in the output. The main code that will work as T Java row, it will read the data from the file and give me the output for each and every row. And then the end code, it will just print something again like T Java and this would be a perfect example for you. So if I run this now, first I'll get the work of T Java. That is nothing but the output of my file, right? See so here it is reading the file and giving me the output, right? And then is the part of where it read my file. It made this uppercase, it made this lower case, it added a sequence, it added thousand to the salary, and then gave me the load data as well. Right. So this will give you a proper hint of what are the differences. Now let's go on again and again see all those points written here. This component does not require input flow. This does not require. This requires input flow. Sorry, and this does not require an input flow. This does not require any output flow. Yes, here if you define, you are going to give an output flow. Yes, here if you define any input, you can give an output. Right. This is used at the start of the job. Right, it cannot be used at the start of the job. Yes, it can be used at the start of the job because this is independent, right? These two are basically independent. They can be used at the start of the job. They does not need any input. But this one needs input, so it cannot be at the start of the job. It can be used as a separate sub job because it is independent. This again can be used as a separate sub job, but yes, this cannot. It would need an input, so yeah, it would need that. Here, it can accept the main and iterate flow. It can accept only the main flow. It can accept again both main and iterate flow. Here you get only one main part of Java. Here also you get only one main part of Java. Here you get start, main, and end, all the three. Okay. Here it will not auto propagate the data. This will also not auto propagate, but this has the option to auto propagate the data. If you see this, you had in T Java Flex and auto propagate option here. This is the data auto propagate option. Now going ahead, it applies exclusively to the start part of the generate code, right? The generate code of talent, it will only be there at the start of the code. This will be at each and every row. It is going to process at each and every row, right? And this has all the three parts. It can be, it can execute the code at start, main, and end, right? It can be in your personalized way. So common use of tjava is basically setting up some context variables right global variables printing logging right because this is going to help you by running independently this is used as an intermediate component which is going to help to transform your data during the flow let's say adding thousand right making it uppercase making it lowercase all of that this is used when you really have to do both of these things together right it can give you the functionality of T Java and T Java row together. Okay. This one again is executed at the first of the job. This one is again at the each row. And this one will run at the start of the job, in the main part of the job, and in the end part of the job. So that's it for all the differences here, guys. Right. And always remember this part explanation. And I think that should be helpful for you to remember the differences between all of these three. T Java, the T Java row, and T Java flex. That's it for this. Thank you guys.